Welcome in, folks. It is 6.09. I'm Josephine Sage. Let's talk weather. Right now, as we take a look at our weather headlines, we're noticing that we're expecting dry weather well through this evening, tomorrow, and into Wednesday. But come Thanksgiving weekend, come Thursday, Friday, and even again through those weekend days, we're expecting some unsettled weather to move on into the forecast region. Alongside, well, a drop in temperatures well below those seasonal averages, 15, 20 degrees below what we're typically used to, especially during those afternoons afternoon hours. We're going to expect those cold temperatures to stick around. But for now, I want to chat about this previous weekend's storms. We're going to focus our attention down that I-70 corridor through Vail Pass, through Eisenhower Pass. We gained just about eight inches in some mountaintop areas, some just a little bit less over the San Juans region and even spreading well towards Alamosa. We've got some snow coverage and even close to the I-25 corridor, uh, we've got one to two inches on those ground on that ground. And even through that Rocky Mountain National Park area, uh, well, just close to 10 inches was seen. But more locally, storm totals, Grand Mesa eight and a half inches, so a little bit more than what we predicted. Colbank Pass five, Montrose one inch, Skyway three inches, Vail uh, almost about two inches, Red Mountain Pass six inches, and Molas Pass just about five inches hit those uh, well roads and those mountaintops. I also want to chat about well what the Grand Mesa looks like right now. We took this screenshot of our live tower cam up there just about an hour ago before that sun set. And again, about eight inches is on the ground as you head up there. So please be careful on those roads. And I want to chat about well winter driving tips. Avoid travel if you can, especially in this upcoming Thanksgiving weekend. If you don't have to drive down that I-70 corridor, if you don't have to head down to the Four Corners region, stay off those roads. They're definitely going to get a little bit dangerous. Don't slam on those brakes, of course. Turn your headlights on and, of course, pack patience, which, well, we might have had to do today. Earlier, well, just east of Eisenhower Tunnel, standstill traffic was seen just around 3 p.m. And with all that Thanksgiving travel well plans, keep in mind that the roads might look like this. So make sure you are being careful as you're headed out and about, and especially if you're headed towards that front range area. We'll notice more nationally that this is what we can look forward to. Well, for the first winter storm here in the Grand Valley, this cold front pushing down from the north of us, which means that drop in temperatures down to well upper 30s and low 40s on Friday during the afternoon hours. And this band of storms that's going to start making its way through those northern well Rockies to hit here over the forecast area. We'll also notice currently as we look towards eastern Colorado, Heavy winds can be seen here on the western slope, looking to be a little bit on that mild side of things, but Montrose with those heavier winds at 11 miles an hour means that we've got a little bit more cloud coverage headed on in tonight. We'll also notice tonight temperatures are on the cool down 47 in Grand Junction, 42 as we look towards Montrose, 30s already towards Aspen and Gunnison. And our almanac will show us that we're right around what we're typically used to on the high end of things, but the low end of things pushing to be, well, just about 10 degrees above what we're typically used to. But that's not going to last for long. Discovery Auto Group's seven day forecast will show dropping down into those 20s and sub freezing temperatures for the weekend, even teen temperatures will be seen. Montrose, of course, just a few degrees cooler, dropping down to, well, of course, those teen temperatures by the early work week next week as well. So I did say multiple times, try and stay off those roads if you can for this Thanksgiving weekend. But if you do, if you are headed out and about, drive safe.